When I first got my M998, one of the most confusing parts was the light switch um, that you can see right here. As you can see, it has three levers on it, lock, unlock, your panel, and then your drive lights. So most of the time it will be in this off position right here, straight up and down, and that is off for all headlights, tail lights, and blackout lights. If you want to move this to anything but off, you first need to hit this lever, push it up into unlock, and then you're able to move it wherever you want. If you don't unlock it, it's stuck there and it won't move. One thing you will want to know is if you have it on a setting and you want to bring it back to off, you're able to move it back to off without having to hold the unlock switch. Um, over here on this side you have your blackout modes, you have blackout markers and blackout drives. Um, if you mess around with this you'll notice that in blackout mode uh, the front and rear tail lights, um, they will have special illuminators in the bottom that only illuminate in this mode. Um, blackout drive, there's also an illuminator on the front which will illuminate about 10 feet in front of the vehicle so that you can operate it at night without being seen. Over here you have your stop lights. Uh, what stop light is, is that's the setting to allow your blinkers, hazards, and brake lights to work so that you can drive um, on civilian roads. And then the setting it was on right now is service drive, which also includes your stop lights, blinkers, but also your marker lights and headlights. Over here you have your panel lights. This is for your instrument gauge. You have brights and you have dims and then you have park. Park is used for service drive. So if you put this on service drive but you only want your park lights to illuminate, you'll want to move this down to park. It will kill your headlights and allow your marker lights to function. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Any additional information, links to tools or parts that I use will be provided in the description. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.